Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skills. Today is our day number nine. Today we'll talk about the concept of distance formula. What is the distance formula? Kids are, kids are asked to memorize this distance formula. It appears magically in the geometry books with the big box around it and it's given such, a, such importance that kids freak out. And they say, oh my god, I need to memorize this freaking thing. Sorry, I didn't say that. Uh, delete that last part, okay? You didn't hear it. So, it's none of that stuff. Distance formula is a very simple, very straightforward, very, 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 very innocent concept. What is the distance formula? Distance formula is nothing. Distance formula is nothing but Pythagorean theorem incognito. And if you do not know what incognito means, watch the videos, vocabulary videos, just type in Kishwani prep dash vocab dash day 42 and learn the word incognito. Incognito means in disguise. What is a distance formula? A distance formula is not a, it's not a real formula that just falls from the sky. It's just a different variation, it's a different form of Pythagorean theorem. If you understand the Pythagorean theorem, that's what distance formula is. It is just distance formula in disguise, incognito. And I'll explain to you what I mean by that in a second. Let's take a look at this picture here. I'm given a triangle. We're given a triangle here. Or not triangle, rather, a distance from A to B. We are asked to measure the distance from A to B. We are told that A has a coordinate of X1 and Y1. And B has a coordinate of x2 and y2. The question simply is, how much is this distance A to B? Let's call it D for distance. We want to measure. We want to measure. Distance A B. Hence, hence the distance formula. What is the distance? So what we're going to do now is to make a right angle triangle out of it, like this. Let's call this thing C. What is the distance from A to C? Can you tell me? Distance from A to C? From A to C. Well, what is the x-coordinate of C? X coordinate of C has to be the same as the X coordinate of B because the line BC is parallel to Y axis. So however far C goes from the X axis, that's how far the B is from, from the X axis. So the X coordinate of C is same as the X coordinate of B, which is X2. So what is the distance from A to C? Well, X coordinate of C is X2, X coordinate of A is X1, so distance from here to here must be x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1. For example, for example, well before I, before I give you the example here, let me finish this thing here. Let me give you an example in, in a different color and I'll erase it later on. I need to erase it because otherwise it will be confusing. Let's put, call it x1 and, x1 and y1 properly. x1 and y1. For example, if A happens to be, let's call it 2 and 3, and this is, let's call it 7 and 
7 and 3. Notice something? You notice something? The y coordinate of C, the y coordinate of C is same as the y coordinate of A because the line A to C is parallel to x axis. If this line A to C is parallel to x axis, then this distance from, from the x axis to C has to be the same distance as from x axis to A here. So, therefore, the coordinates of C are the x coordinate, x coordinate that I gave you 7. If this is 7, then this is 7. I should put it in a red line, a red marker, to, to, because we are doing the example here. And then whatever I want, whatever y distance we want to call it, we can call it whatever we want. Let's call it 10. So, from A to C, if that's, again, if that's 10, this is x, x2 and y2. Well, x2, x2 and y1. One more time, I'm going to do it slowly. The x coordinate of C, the x coordinate of C has to be the same as the x coordinate of B, which is, if this is 7, this has to be 7. And the y coordinate of C, the y coordinate of C is this y distance, the same as this one. So if this is 3, that's got to be 3. Which means that the y coordinate of C is same as the y coordinate of A, which is y1. Voila. So the C has the coordinate of x2 and y1. x2 and y1. So what's the distance from A to C? It is 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 7 distance from distance from A to C is 7 minus 2 7 which is x2 minus 2 which is x1 voila now what is the distance from B to C B to C B to C which is this distance here right here this distance which is 10 minus 3 10 minus 3 which is y2 minus y1 voila so the distance from b to c is y2 minus y1 are you beginning to recognize this something therefore my pythagorean theorem tells me The Pythagorean theorem tells us that this distance d, which is the hypotenuse because this is the right angle, this distance d squared must equal the square of this distance, which is x2 minus x1, and the square of this distance, which is y2 minus y1. Voila, that's it. That's it. Voila. This is your distance formula. There is your there is your so called distance formula. As you can see, the distance formula was actually Pythagorean theorem in disguise, incognito. The only difference is that when they talk about this formula, they do not put down d squared, they just leave it at d, and if you're going to leave it as d, then you have to take the square root of both sides. So if you if you're just talking about so if you're talking about just the d part and not the square of it, then simply just the d part, you're gonna to have to take the square root of both sides. Voila. There is your so-called distance formula. There is nothing to it. There is nothing to it. So we do an example. Well, we have an example right there. Why don't we finish this up? Let's do it up, up there. I don't want to erase any of this thing. Let's do it up there. But before I erase it, I want to read one more time. The distance formula is nothing but Pythagorean theorem, incognito, in disguise. Distance from A to C was x2 minus x1. Distance from B to C, B to C was y2 minus y1. Therefore, the Pythagorean theorem tells me the d squared, I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this thing. Because the whole point I'm trying to make here the whole point I'm trying to make here is that it's a Pythagorean theorem. So if it's a Pythagorean theorem, leave it as d squared. 
which is which is usually we describe as c squared equals a squared plus b squared is this is your a from here to here which is x2 minus x1 and your b from here to here is your y2 minus y1 right there let's do an example Well, the example, example is already on the blackboard, so let's just finish it up. So our d, distance d would be, d squared would be, the x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 squared, x2 minus x1 squared, plus y2 minus y1 squared. Seven minus two, which is five, which is twenty-five, plus ten minus three, which is seven, which is forty-nine. Seven squared is forty-nine. So it turns out that our d is in fact twenty-five plus fifty is seventy-five, so it is seventy-four. The square root of seventy-four. There you go. That's it. So this distance from a to b, whatever that is, is a little bit more than eight little bit more than 8 but less than 9 it's somewhere between 8 and 9 because 8 would have been 64 9 would have been 81 so it's somewhere between 64 and 81 that's what the distance is from A to B this distance from A to C A to C based on the number that we use here A to C because this is 2 and this is 7 A to C is 5 C to B, C to B is 7. So if you have a triangle with the side, one side being 5 and one side being 7, it turns out that, that this distance, the hypotenuse, this distance, the hypotenuse, turns out is equal to square root of 74. That's it. This is your so-called distance formula, which, which we now know that is nothing, nothing but simple Pythagorean theorem. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 10. Uh, in the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, for SAT, GRE or GMAT or statistics, or algebra, geometry, whatever you have there. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor over the internet via Skype and of course face to face and over the, over the telephone. You can go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. Or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and send me, send me an email from there. Alright? Thank you. I'll see you later.